What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We're going to be diving into a package that I don't know what it is. I think I do, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think it's coming through the Pass Around group, but let's go ahead and head to the top down. All right. So we've got a package here today coming to the straight G here. That's me. I'm the G. Um, no, that just means it was shipped ground. <laughs> and uh, we've got our channel stickler here. It gives me a great opportunity to let you know. If you aren't subscribed, it's a great time to subscribe to the channel. You can hit like and subscribe down below. It's the best way to support us. If you like what we do, we're going to continue to make content. We'd love for you to be a part of it. So hit that like and subscribe button below. Without further ado, let's get into this package here. I got a little box. I'm pretty sure there's one knife in here. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I think it's coming from the pass around group. So let's go ahead and cut into this. Our unboxing knife today is going to be the New Breed EDC Clydesdale. Absolutely love this thing. I don't have mine modified, so this is exactly how they come. There's lots of modified Clydesdales out there. Um, I'm kind of just toying with what I want to do to modify mine. So it was definitely designed as kind of like a blank canvas. If you speak to, or if you talk to, uh, I don't, I cut right across the top. You saw me do that. There's nowhere for me to cut. I have to come over here to open it up. I don't know what I was doing. I'm just so used to specific boxes that that is definitely not the way I was supposed to open that. So yeah, but if you talk to Loot, he'll tell you that's how it was designed was to, oh, hey, what's up? This is coming from BEDC. Got some sweet BEDC stickers, plenty to share. So that is awesome to be able to pass some of those around. And this is not what I thought it was. Okay, cool. So I, I do know what this is actually now. And uh, it wasn't at all what I thought it was. This is uh, a knife that uh, I am thankfully getting from BEDC. This is a CDC knife. This comes with all the the cool stuff and swag. This is the Chicago, the first run of Chicago. Um, BEDC was kind enough to let this one go and uh, I was able to get it from him as he's picking up one of the uh, their newer knives that was on Kickstarter. So you got the Crispy Donut Community holographic stickers right there. You've got the Chicago sticker. Uh, Chicago first one, Blade Steel S35VN with a G10 and titanium. Hardware's titanium as well. And then you got the CEDC. C CDC. I would keep wanting to say CEDC, but it's CDC sticker with that. And then it also comes with one of the cool CDC Crispy Donut Community poker chips. So get to add that to my poker chip collection. But this right here is the Chicago. This is my favorite. And if I'm being honest, this is really the Chicago and the Salem were the two knives that I liked the most. And the Chicago is really the only one that I ever thought about adding to my collection. Um, the Hanson is, it's, it's a cool knife, but it wasn't for me. And uh, the Salem was just a little bit smaller than I wanted. This Chicago is Wow, that detent is tight in there. That is a really nice detent. That is firm. That is definitely a strong detent. You can get it out, but whew, that is a strong detent. I don't know how I feel about how strong it is. <laughs> I, the one that I tried out was not that strong. Just got to break it in a little bit more. But this is a fantastic knife. I really love the ergos on it. I really love what they did with the blade as well. I like how they had the compound grinds coming to it. When I was able to check this out, I had one of the um, blue and pink ones. And I'm not really a fan of the donut stuff. I think it's cool. It's fun. And Luke and Drew are awesome guys. So I love to support them as much as I can. But um, this blacked out version with just the sprinkles coming through here, this was my jam. So I really like this one. So when uh, EDC had this one up right there, Brian had this up. I was really excited and said, yeah, uh, I'll take that. This thing is awesome. So um, was stoked to pick this bad boy up. I know Brian said he put his own edge on here. And after carrying it for a little bit, but other than that, it wasn't much of a carrier or user or anything for him. So this is pretty much brand new as it comes. Absolutely loving this thing. We do have an older video from back when I lived in Arizona still on the Chicago. So I may not do a full video on this. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a hard use video now that I actually own this one. Or I'll do a long term use now that I've got this one. And we'll be keeping this one for a little bit here now. So... You might see more of this, but uh, 
Probably not, just with however many knives come through the channel. So this one's pretty cool. What's, we'll do some quick measurements and side-by-side -side comparison since we probably won't do a secondary video on this one right here. But uh, measurements coming in 8 inches overall, looking about 3.5 on the blade edge, 3.25 on the cutting edge with a nice generous sharpening choil right there. Some side-by-side -side comparisons. We've got the Elementum. We've got the Kaiser Veritas right here. We'll get rid of that Elementum. We'll go ahead and throw up. Well, we've got it. It was our unboxing knife, the Clydesdale right there. Uh, pull the Veritas off. We'll do the Snex Vision R Wii right here. Gives you another larger knife to kind of compare that to. And then last but not least, we've got the NAFS Lander 2 up top there. So it gives you a couple fantastic knives to kind of compare to some more popular um, knives that most of y'all have seen and probably have in your collection or whatnot. So yeah, absolutely love what the CDC guys are doing. Uh, they have a ton of projects going on all the time and they've always got some new stuff coming out. So there's always some really cool stuff that you can do with the donut community over there. The S35VN on this one is pretty sweet. I don't know if these are still available or if you can get them at all. I don't know what the price point was when they came in. I know I got a sweet deal from Brian on this one. Uh, loving the lock bar access right there. So you can see how it's chamfered down on the G10 side. It gives you a nice access to the lock bar and then the lock bar is actually chamfered on the inside as well. Really good action. Whips right out there with that. This flipper is cuts right to the finger and then you have to kind of a little shake shimmy, get that down a little bit further, but you have really good action coming through there. You have this thing absolutely centered. Yeah. And then I really loved how they added the further jimping up top right here. Their jimping is very thick, square jimping. It's like if you took jimping and decided to multiply it by three, that's what they did. They have this massive jimping coming through here. So it's not bad. It's just you don't see it commonly. So yeah, I, have, I really like that they have the kind of like spear shape to the blade coming out here too. You have the, the nice thin line coming through and then it fullers out at the top here. You've got the compound grind at the edge, a little bit thicker for more pry action. And then a real nice slice, slicey action here. I believe that's a hollow grind coming down through there. So yeah, CDC guys are doing some pretty sweet stuff. I will link this if I can find any of them available. If not, they'll probably just be a link to CDC's website that y'all can check out down below. There's not much left to say about this. This is the CDC Chicago. Um, I believe their, their newest one is on Kickstarter. It actually could be done. And that is the, I'm going to forget. Oh, man. I know it's not called the pandemic. I know it's called something. The outbreak. That's what it is. I believe I'm like 99% sure it's called the outbreak. So, yeah, the CDC outbreak is on Kickstarter if it hasn't fully been funded as of yet. So, until next time, TTFN.